We begin tonight with violence at a memorial service for a man killed on his bicycle. And tonight, police are looking for two hit and run drivers who struck people at the very same intersection. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live in South LA with this very unusual story tonight. Jeff. It certainly is, guys. And tonight, this painted bicycle is part of a memorial for a young man who died doing what he loved. And his violent death led to a confrontation today. And now the hunt is on for two hit and run drivers. You turned a simple accident into a crime. Tonight, Beverly Owens made a plea to her son's killer. But all they had to do was pull over and stop. During a candlelight vigil for 22-year-old Frederick Frazier, this is a picture he posted to social media yesterday, just hours before he went on his final bike ride. He did not die. My baby was killed. Frazier was struck and killed by a hit and run at the corner of Manchester and Normandy in South LA. His mother says he rode his bike to his job in Redondo Beach from their home in South LA. He took up cycling after he was diagnosed with diabetes when he was 15. He rode bikes to save his life to control his diabetes. Look at this! Whoa! Oh! But his death led to another hit and run. Cell phone video captured a car hitting Quattrell Stallings during a tribute to his friend about 24 hours after Frazier's death. One person was taken from us, and then you hurt another person that was like also like family tool. After today's hit and run, an LAPD sergeant tried to disperse a crowd of nearly 100 at this intersection. But the group took its frustration out on the police SUV by breaking a window and slashing a tire. Frazier's mom says her son, who went by the nickname Wound, would not have wanted this. Flashing the police tires ain't repping for Wound. Busting out the police windows ain't repping for Wound. We need the police to help us. And at Beverly Owens' home, a tribute bike now sits out front for the child she calls the love of her life. He shouldn't have had to die alone by himself like that. Police say that the car involved in today's hit and run was a tan four door Honda. However, detectives do not have a description for the one that killed Frazier. His family is pleading with that driver to surrender to police. Now back to you.